Hi, this is Carol Springer at Gabriel Sales, and today we are going to talk about um, custom report types for reporting Pardot emails and Pardot assets in Salesforce. So I'm sure, um, well, maybe not sure, but maybe many of you are familiar with the variety and flexibility of Pardot reports. And so now, instead of getting your reports like this in um, Pardot, which is pretty basic, you don't see subject lines or anything, we can now pull in pretty sophisticated reports like this in the inside of Salesforce that we can pull in subject lines, total sent, and and pick a variety of different um, uh, choices here in our um, headers. So I am going to walk you through how to do that today. So to get there, we are going to go into um, setup, and we are going to go to report types. Okay. And we're going to make a custom report type. So as you may know, um, each Salesforce report, there's so many options for reports. And this one, for example, is campaign with campaign members. There's sometimes campaigns with leads. Each report in Salesforce pulls data from different objects in the system. So now that I want some Pardot data, I can't just go to this report and find Pardot data. So I have to create a, well, actually it's a Pardot campaign ID. Um, it might have a few things, but it's not going to have the list email data. So it's not going to give me subject line or, or anything like that. So I need to build a new report type. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to continue. And I'm going to call it new custom report type. And you always have to pick what object you want to be working with. So we're working with campaigns, and it needs a, na a name. And we're going to do um, campaigns with Pardot email stats. I've done it before, so it's just auto-populated. And it's going to require a description, and I'm just going to put uh, campaign data with pardot email stats. Okay. And I'm going to store this. And this is what this is asking is when you go to reports, it usually says reports, campaigns, reports, leads, reports, accounts. So, what is the primary area this should be in? I'm going to have it go into campaigns. And I'm going to go ahead and just deploy it. Um, development is if you want to check it out um, before everyone else can see it. That's your choice, okay? So go to next. And then it's going to say, well, what object are we starting with? We're going to start with campaigns, okay? And then we're going to go to list emails. And this is going to pull in, it will pull in engagement studio emails as well, but this is list emails is a kind of native term in Salesforce. Okay. Um, and so this is saying, do the records have to have um, campaigns and list emails? Not necessarily. Um, do you want them to have it or not? Um, I'm going to say it doesn't have to have it. That way I can run campaigns um, reports and see how many do not have any list emails. So I know if I'm missing something or not. Okay, then I just hit save. And then what do we got here next? Um, I think we are good. And then there's ways you can pick the different fields that you want to pull from. I kind of like to have as many fields as possible, so I typically don't edit that. So now that that report is there, I'm going to go into uh, go to my report builder. I'm just going to go here to reports. And you'll see I'm in Pardot Lightning because I have Pardot email content, etc. cetera. Um, but the reports actually you know, brings you into Salesforce reports. Okay, so I'm going to go new report. And now I'm going to go to campaigns. And uh, campaigns with Pardot email stats. Okay, and then I want to pull in different fields and you look sideways here. This is all the fields you can choose from. So if I want to do subject line, for example, I can bring that in. Slide that down. I want to go click throughs, and you'll see there's a lot of click throughs. Unique click email, uh, unique clicks by the campaign, by the campaign hierarchy. Um, this is going to give you all the information for every single email in that one campaign. So if you have a campaign called Nurture, 
all the clicks for every nurture email you send will show up in there. So I typically do this. And best practice for email marketing is um, really the click-through rate. That's the number one. But I like to see the total clicks because if I have a high click-through rate, but I only, you know, email 20 people, that doesn't really count. <laughs> um, unique, uh, well, actually, I go unique clicks, unique click-through rate. That's the most important. That's how many different people are clicking, okay? Click to open is kind of nice, but um, I don't really use that very much. I don't find that much value in it. It's always a higher rate than um, your click through, so it's kind of fun to see it. Um, opens is also really important. So I usually put opens here, total opens, uh, unique opens. Again, a little gotcha there. Just really want the uniques. Um, open rate. Okay, unique opens, open rate, unique clicks, click through rate. Also, I'd like to know my opt-outs, um, opt-out rate, and unique opt-outs. Sure. Put it right there. And what else do I like to know? Oh, is there any spam complaints? I'm not sure if that pulls in. Oh, it does. Total spam complaints. You definitely want to keep an eye on that. Okay. So I have my campaign. This is the name of the campaign. This is the, this is, oh, this is the name of the email. Um, and then the subject of the email, this is a campaign, and I might want to group by campaign, for example, campaign name. And I love charts, so I'm going to throw a chart in there, and we're going to save and run. And you always have to name this, um, campaigns with pardot email stats. Okay, and I really like to put the description in here. Um, all Pardot stats, all time. If I'm going to filter this by this year, sent this year, sent this quarter, sent this month, etc. Use this as much as you can. Um, even if you're the only one doing it, you're going to forget what you've done five, six, eight months from now. Why did I make this report? And maybe I'm much smarter nine months from now and I thought I had it filtered right, but I didn't. So put what you're trying to accomplish, um, and then you can double check your work <laughs> uh, at a later date. And then it's always going to ask you what folder. So private folders by default. If you have a small organization, just put everything in the public folder so everyone can see it. Um, most of my clients, they have like detailed uh, folders, and you can have sharing based on who gets to see in what and what folder, but I'm just gonna put this in public for now. Okay, and I do not have any email stats. So this is gonna be very boring. This is why I gave you this PowerPoint where you would have um, campaign name. If it says send email like this, this is um, when the engagement studio sends out emails, it calls the name of the email. You cannot control this, unfortunately. Send email. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you can pull in the subject line, um, show how many were sent, open rates, click, click through rates, etc. So you can see it now all in one nice snapshot. Um, one thing kind of funky is these subtotals, they just total up everything. So it doesn't realize these are percentages. So you get some really wonky percentages. There might be a way to figure that out. But um, right now, um, I just kind of ignore that. Okay, so that's all we'll cover today. Um, and that is how you um, create a custom report so you can abandon your Pardot minimal reporting and downloading the spreadsheets and now have all these real time, as soon as emails go out, anyone in the company can see these. And if you're familiar with Salesforce reports, you can subscribe so people can get this every Friday, every Monday, every day, whatever you want. Hey, how are the emails doing? How are the emails doing? No one has to actually log into Pardot. So if you want to see the one about Pardot assets, uh, look for that uh, video as well. And thank you for your time. Have a great day.